Chapter 8, Nothing at All. When Gregory got home from school, he went straight to his garden. He was thinking about the fountain. The garden spread over three walls. He would have to take out something to make room for the fountain, but he liked to change things. He started to the garage to get the ladder. He stopped. There were footsteps outside the gate. Someone laughed. Someone went, shh. The gate opened. Boys and girls came pushing in. They were all from room three. Vance was the leader. He said, we came to see your garden. Where is it? Asked one of the girls. This is it, said Vance. It's just a burned out building, said someone else. Didn't I tell you, said Vance. It's nothing. It's nothing at all. He turned and walked out. The others followed him. And the last one out was Ivy. She looked back. She almost stopped. Then she was gone. That night, Gregory wasn't hungry. There was chocolate chip ice cream for dessert. It was his favorite, but he couldn't eat it. Mother felt his forehead. It feels hot. I think you should be in bed. He went to bed. She sat with him. Gregory, what's wrong? She asked. He began to tell her, some of the others at school have gardens. I said I have one too. Why did you say that? She asked. Because I do have one, he said. It isn't like theirs, but it's a garden. The one you made in the burned building? She asked. Yes. And after school, they followed me home. They came in to look and they said, what did they say? They said it was nothing at all. They thought I was just bragging. And you weren't bragging? No, I wasn't. Maybe I was pretending a little, but I wasn't bragging. They can think what they want to, he said. I don't care. <laughs>